What's up, Raiders? Welcome to Raid Today. It's the show that I'll put out daily to provide you with what's happening in Raid today. I'm Gestel from Gestel Gaming. Let's check out what's going on in Raid Shadow Legends. Uh, just announced yesterday, we do have a 10x going on for Trunda. Trunda used to be meta. Trunda used to be the one, the nuker that everybody wants, has that excellent two hitter on the uh, A3, and then this crazy uh, A2 that does an insane amount of damage on Hydra, um, and a two hitter on the A1. Uh, she's kind of fallen off the meta, I would say, mostly because better champs have come out, uh, void champs, um, what have you. Uh, so, personally, I'm certainly not pulling shards. Um, should you pull shards? Depends on your account. I don't, I wouldn't say she's, like I said, definitely not meta anymore, but still a top tier nuker. Uh, excellent, excellent champion. Uh, would it be, would it be the best time, but if you're going for CVC, need a CVC points or whatever it is, um, yeah, you know, not the worst time to pull, but I wouldn't recommend it. Tomorrow, Acrisia, we'll talk about her tomorrow, but just keep in mind, tomorrow there is a 10x event for Acrisia, another insane champ. Um, she is currently meta, so... We'll talk more about that tomorrow. Uh, but talking about CVC, we do have CVC started. Uh, it is a two-day event. We're a good uh, 10 hours into it already. And we're losing. That's okay. It is not a personal rewards CVC. So our clan takes a little easier. It'd still be nice to push back up here. At least get one of these accessories. We'll see what happens. Uh, the best way I approach um, CVC, uh, especially for these non purse rewards, I just look for kind of free points wherever you can get it. Um, Tag Team Arena, great place. Uh, set your defense to a single, single team defense and uh, get down to that lower ranks and then work your way back up. You do get 20 free tokens a day. Uh, you have to start spending gens after that. Keep that in mind, and don't forget to reset your defense some point tomorrow, uh, or you're going to get probably stuck uh, falling down uh, to the tier below you. Uh, Class Arena, you get about 30 tokens a day. Excellent place to get some points. You don't get nearly as many points as you do in Tag Team, but uh, still a good way to get points. Forge. Forge is the best place for me. I think you get a ton of points. Um... I would say hang on to your forge resources until CVC. Honestly, I would say hang on to them until a personal reward CVC because you do you can get 500 points for a six star Lego, uh, and you might get two or three of those in a ten pull. That's a that's a ton of points. I mean, you could easily see between a thousand and 2,500 points just from a ten pull in the forge. Um, we do have lethal. Uh, it is dark fey and doom tower, so you know, good time to start building your lethal out and righteous from the forge pass. I'm very excited to, to roll those and to see what I get. And we'll probably be doing that today in stream. Uh, get those CVC points up and, uh, yeah, those are basically the ways to do it. Uh, I also would recommend saving your energy, even, you know, you save as much as you can, uh, starting like Monday mornings, the day before CVC. So you can, uh, push pretty hard in the uh in the cbc and give your give your team give your uh, clan a lot of points you want to help the clans out right and then uh thursday just a note we do have great hoof loriaka we got her fragment event starting keep that in mind maybe you don't want to use everything there in cbc try to keep some of those resources you're definitely going to need um Definitely going to need some shards to pull. So, uh, you know, maybe hold off on those trundle pulls. Um, so you can pull this weekend and help you get a little closer to getting that. Great hoof if you're going for her. I did do a video on her where I honestly don't think she's very... I don't think she's very good at all, but... 
Uh, my main account, I go for all new champs. So I will be going for my main account. Free to play, is it is an easy skip. All right, let's look at tournaments and events. Tournaments going on right now, Spider. Spider is probably the best place to farm. It is the quickest dungeon. Um, you don't have waves to clear. And uh, you also get the most silver for your efforts. Uh, you're selling accessories, whatever it is. Um, and they have a tournament for it. They're in CVC. Excellent. On top of that, they have 20 of the soul stones for um for the soul awakenings uh the immortal soul essence you can get 20 of those by getting 3400 points on spider and that is essentially not essentially that is a one star awakened soul in the shop in the altar of souls so if you get the 3400 points you get uh, enough to get yourself 20, 20 tokens to get yourself uh, a one star. So I would say that is definitely a must do tournament. It's kind of the, uh, what I like to call a triple threat. You're getting accessories by doing it. You're getting CVC points for doing it and an excellent prize at the top and some good ones along the way. Gems, always great. Uh, some coins for the altar. I'm very, I'm very live arena focused these days, so anything that's going to help me in live arena, that's the stuff I'm going for. <laughs> uh, classic arena, like I said earlier, uh, you get about 30 free tokens a day. Might as well use them all up. Try to get to at least 780, a 6 star ore. I love, I love ore. 6 star ore, change that gear up. See if you get something better, get a better main stack, get a better roll on, a, on the sub set. You got a trip roll, a quad roll. Try to get that speed quad roll on a speed set. You want to get as many ores as you can. Uh, so, you know, gear isn't thrown away. As soon as you get it, you see a flat set or something on a chest. You know, maybe you can roll and get something good there. So I would definitely say go for, go for both of those for sure. Um, events going on today. We got artifact enhancement event. Uh, well, if you're doing Forge, you might as well roll some of the gear up, and you're gonna get some stuff for it. Um, energy is always good. Mortal Soul Stones, excellent. Uh, gems, Ancient ancient Shard. Yeah, you could pretty easily get up to at least, uh, 4,000 without, like, killing your silver. Um, so, you know, getting to 150 energy, you know, overall, it gives you 300 energy in a Soul Stone. That's, that's a pretty good day's work with silver. Uh, fusion warm up event, easy one to miss. Uh, I believe you just have to upgrade champs, either upgrade or upgrade their rank or their level. Uh, not as good. Again, you're pretty much just doing your dailies and you should be able to finish this up. Just make sure to do it. Uh, a couple days left on that. We got two, two days, 16 hours left on that one as of the recording of this video. And then Dungeon Divers, I think everyone hates Dungeon Divers, but if you're doing Spider, if you're doing uh, whatever dungeon you're farming, uh, to help you out, you help your, C your clan out for CVC, you're automatically going to get points here. There is this, another Mortal, mortal Soul Stone here, and we do have a 6-star Epic Ore uh, down here at the 5,500 points. Uh, that's where I'm going to be aiming for. Like I said, I love these 6-star Epic Ores. Uh, six star epic or the uh, or the legendary ones uh, really are are a great resource to get a better chance at some gear. Um, yeah, that's everything going on in raid today. Uh, I will be streaming. If you want to come check out the stream? I'll be streaming at uh, twist uh, twitch.tv slash Gestel Gaming. Uh, stream. Sunday through Friday, 2 o'clock to 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Uh, it starts at 3 hours before reset, so wherever that is for you around the world. Um, it gives you a bit of context. But I hope CVC goes well for you. And uh, get that spider torment done. Have an awesome day. We'll see you tomorrow. Take care.